Hey kids, uh, welcome back. I'm uh, Joseph Talbot, real estate broker in Southern Georgia Bay here. And uh, I'm just gonna talk a little bit more about some of our uh, house maintenance and uh, building tips here. Um, today, today I'm gonna talk to you guys about uh, choosing the right caulking or silicone. There is, a, there is a, a couple of big differences between silicone and caulking. Caulking, one of the biggest things is you can actually paint over caulking. Silicone, forget it, you can't caulk over it. Paint will just bleed right off, it'll just come off. So. Anyways, I'm just going to show you some of my favorite caulking. So this, when it comes to doing um, caulking and you need a thick bodied caulking, and uh, so I, I've choo I choose the acrylic, acrylic by Home, Home Builder. You buy this at Home Hardware. That's one of the best ones. It's got a nice thick body. So if you need something a little thicker, a little, you have a bigger gap to fill, this is really good. Now, when I mean bigger gap, I don't mean, go, don't go over half an inch because that's then you're going to have to you have to do one coat let it dry put another coat on and then you have to check it you know in six months or a year because a lot of times it will crack and dry out but this is one of my favorite this is acrylics it's latex and you can paint over it typically they say they say it says like 40 minutes but no um, wait till the following day to paint it um, then you know it's good and dry and sealed and you're not going to because when you run your brush over if it's a hard brush you'll just make trenches into the uh, caulking and you don't want to do it. The other thing I like about this, this caulking the acrylic is it's really easy to tool with your finger. So um, if you don't want the caulking to stick your finger, just dip it in a little bit of water and then just run your finger along the caulking and it makes a beautiful, beautiful finish. Um, you can get tools to uh, help you with caulking too. You can buy them at Home Hardware, Home Depot, wherever. So that's, that's my favorite caulking for paintable stuff and for, um, places that are not subject to a lot of water especially this is not great if it's on a horizontal surface vertical surfaces are great but this is not the best for um, the next one I have here I really like this one this is an acrylics plus it's a dap comes in a tube this one here is for kitchen and bathrooms so it's a kitchen bathrooms and you can use it for windows and doors and stuff like that as well this stuff has a thinner body to it so what this one's really good for is going along the tops of baseboards and stuff like that. So after you install your baseboard or your trims, you can run a nice bead of caulking down along the tops of the, uh, the baseboard and along the sides of the trim. It hides any uh, inconsistencies between the baseboard and the wall. And then it's great for when you go to paint. You can buy this in different colors. This one's white, you can buy clear. Um, depends on what, what you need it for. And these are easy to clean up. So these two here, you just clean them up with water. So if you get some stuck on your fingers and stuff like that, you just wash them off with water. Don't use soap at first. So use water, just water, get the, get the, the caulking off your fingers, and then use soap. Because if you use soap when you've got caulking on your fingers, it takes a lot longer to get it off. It's like it lubricates it or something. So use water, just warm water first. So again, this one's really good if you have a small line or something small you gotta caulk because this is a thinner bodied caulk and you don't need somewhere where you don't need something heavy. Um, now this one here, this is a this is 100% silicone. This you cannot paint. Um, it just, it, the, the paint doesn't bond to it. Now this has good application in places where you have high moisture content like in around your bathtub and you know, uh, bathroom sinks and stuff like that. You can, it says you can use it around the kitchen sink as well. And you can get this in different colors, clear, white, and gray, and, and whatever. Um, this stuff is, this stuff, silicone tends to be a bit thinner. So when you apply it by putting it in, on with your caulking gun and you, and you tool it with your finger, you'll actually squish a lot of it out. You actually push it into the crack you want, but you'll also get a lot of excess. So. One thing I recommend with silicone is if you can uh, tape off all the way around where you're gonna do your siliconing, and then just right after you've tooled it, whether you use your finger, whether you use, uh, whether you use a, a tool, um, then peel the tape off right away. So, and be careful because it will actually, it could mess up your caulking job. So just uh, do that. Uh, another one I've used or don't mind is, this is a two-in-one, this is, this is okay around bathtubs and stuff. I have used this, but um, if there's any movement in your in the wallboard, say if you're using a uh, tub surround or something like that, which is a you know acrylic uh, thin acrylic um, material is what it really is. That gets glued to the wall, 
and then that goes around your bathtub and stuff like that. The problem with this is if you get a much movement, this just cracks. But it does well. It is good. It does have a, a it's like an adhesive mixed in with the caulking. So it works pretty good as long as you don't have movement. Um, oh, by the way, this one is paintable as well. Uh, then we got one like this. This is a this is a, it's an unsand, unsanded siliconized acrylic caulking. So this actually has the uh, it, it it has um, grout right in the in the caulking. So you can get different colors to match up with grout. So this is you should always always some people don't do this. Even professionals sometimes don't do this. Is you should always caulk in all your corners in, in around bathtubs or anywhere there's high moisture and along the base of the bathtub and around the wall. You should always caulk that, but a lot of guys don't. And the problem with that is if the grout cracks, now you've got an easy access for water to get in behind. So always, always caulk there. Another one I like too, this is this is a quick seal. This this one here was an uh, was a, a DAP Apex Plus or Alex Plus. This one's a quick seal. Um, it's an adhesive and a caulking mix in one. It's very thin as well, so it's great for smaller stuff. Um, I just discovered this one. I mean, it's been around for a long time. This is a LePage's PL, PL sealant. It's heavy duty, five, five times more stretchable. I have uh, used this around bathtubs and it works phenomenal. It, uh, because when you, if you have an acrylic bathtub, when you fill it up with water, it actually pulls the tub down a little bit. So there's a bit of movement. This bonds really, really well to a bathtub and really well to an acrylic wallboard. Um, it is fantastic. I really like it. It does a great job. So again, that one's the PL uh, sealant heavy duty. I actually bought that at Canadian Tire. It's great. The other thing that's really handy is, is these things here on the end. So you can buy these. They're just little caps that actually fit down inside the end of the caulking. So if you... If you don't use the whole tube of caulking, which a lot of times you don't, you can shove that down in there and uh, it's nice and it keeps it nice and moist inside. Otherwise it dries out and you might as well throw the tube out. So I've saved the best for last. This is a Mulcall Super Expert um, silicone. It's, uh, so what's it say? What do they call it here? It's, um, it's, they call it a sealant. So, but this stuff here, this is fabulous. Uh, the only problem with this stuff is that you can't, once you put it on, you can't touch it. You can't run your finger through it. You can't tool it. You got to cut the end of your caulking tube at the right angle. Not a right angle, but the right angle for you. So there's a bit of a, you want a bit of a slope. So, and you got to have the right size of hole. So if you're just having a fine line to caulk, make sure you cut the hole at the top smaller. If you need to have a bigger space to, to caulk, then you want to cut the gap a bit, the, the hole a bit bigger and make sure you have a bit of a slope on it so that when you're coming down on an angle, it's it's getting a good bond. So what happens is it goes on, so that's convex. So as it dries, it goes concave. It sucks it into the space. So if you have like a, fifth, a 90 degree angle, like say between the trim on an outside window and the wall, and you put this in, it goes, it's a bit rounded, but as it dries, it sucks it in and it's kind of curves in like concave. So does a great job. This is probably one of the best caulkings I have ever run. I've used tons of different caulkings and stuff outside. This is by far, my opinion, one of the best. I have not used one that's better than this yet. So, and it stretches like crazy. It says something in here. I thought it said like 1400, can, it says here, can stretch up to 1400%. That's crazy. That's like that is a, I can't even imagine how much that is. But again, that is the Mokul Supra Expert. This is clear. You can get clear, translucent, and you can get white, different colors. It is fantastic. So that is probably one of your best ones you'll ever use outside. Lasts a long time, and it just it, it's just really good. So that's my tips for you today for on choosing the right caulking for the job. So whether it's caulking or silicone. So those are some of the ones that I've used. There are tons and tons out there, but just make sure you get the right, the right product for the right application. Because if you don't, then you'll mess up and then you gotta either cut it all off and start all over. Because uh, like, say if you need to paint, you can't paint over silicone. Um, well, not really. You can, you can use a Zinsser primer and sometimes it will bond enough that you can actually 
put an acrylic or a, um, a latex paint over it, but that's another step, but we're not gonna get into that today. So for all intents and purposes, make sure you get the right caulking. Any questions, by all means, shoot me a message and uh, comment below, subscribe, and uh, I'll post more videos. I'm trying to help you guys uh, run a better home. Keep your home better longer. So a home is a living, breathing thing, so you gotta look after it. Anyways, thanks very much, and uh, take care. We'll see you next time.